A man after God's heart. I'm saying son of God, the term oh, son. Okay, son of God now. Was David son of God? Here, God said to the King David, this is my firstborn son. Yeah, yeah. So here, he's talking about David. David, so here we have David is the firstborn son. So now we have David is the firstborn son of God. So David is the son of God. The first, actually the firstborn son of God. So that's why, what is the meaning of son of God? So that was Psalm 89, like yeah, yeah. I'd have to see the verse, because in that case, I literally have to look at it in, in the context of what you were saying. So the context, basically, yeah. so when you say son, you brought me without context, yeah. you said to me, Jesus is son of God, and I told you David was son of God. Yeah. You said to me, no, and I showed you the verse, God yeah, is saying to David, you are my firstborn son. So well, that shows David is the firstborn son of God. Yeah. Moses was son of God. Children of Israel used to be children of God. Yeah. So God has many children. What's the meaning of son of God? May I, may I suggest to say, son means servant of God. If you say it means begotten son, which is an insertion in the Bible, that means David was as well begotten son of God because he was firstborn son. Yeah, so, I mean, I am also now under Christ a son of God, but I'm not, I'm not, divinity is not confined to me. So that's, that's why you said to me, I ask yeah. you, is Jesus God? You told me he's son of God. I see. And then I told you, like David was son of God, he said, no, he's God. I'm asking you, is Jesus God? Simple as that. Oh, yeah. Jesus is God. Okay, where did he say he's God? Where did he say he is just God? He is God, yeah. So the where did he describe himself as divine, as God? Where? As divine. It was when the, I don't have the passage, but it was when the Pharisees confronted him. They say to claim to hail directly from God is to confer. Um, no, I'm saying, to, did he say I'm God? Very simple. Did he say the specific words I am God? Yeah, yeah. I struggled to recall uh, the single time where he said the specific words I am. Yeah. Uh, so he never said he's God. Never said, like I a word. So. I guess so. So he never said this. Mm -hmm. Did he ever said worship me? So no, he said, he said, pray to the Father in my name. In your, in his name. Yeah. So pray to the Father. Not to him. Yeah, not him. So he never said to worship him or to pray to him. So now he. Oh, sorry. The, the closest he comes to saying he is God, he's saying, I and my Father are one. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Are they. Are they yeah. one in essence or in, or in uh, or in objective? Let's say. Essence or in objective. When you say objective, what do you mean? Like they're one person? Yeah. Are they one person? Um, I think they're one in the God book. So in essence, I guess. In essence. I guess. I guess. Not. But he if, said, if, I understand if, if, he, if they are one in essence, he said the Father is greater than I. So in essence, is impossible. But if, if in okay. essence, sorry, in essence or purpose? That's my point. Okay, so I think are they one in essence or purpose? Okay, so I think you can be one in essence as the Trinity, Holy Spirit, um, Jesus, and God, but still confer more authority to the Father. Yeah. So they are not one. Listen, you, when you say in essence, they are not one in essence because the Father is greater than Him. He doesn't have the characteristics of the Father. So they're not one. If I you mean, see me, you see the father. Is Jesus small? Yeah, this average, let's yeah, say. Yeah. When you see Jesus, are we seeing the father? Or are we, what do we see? Or are we talking about the purpose or the, that he got sent? For example, we believe that Jesus is a sign of God. No problem. Sign. When you see Jesus, when you see the creation of God, the signs about the existence of God. Not necessarily these are gods. So it's these things are used in Semitic language to describe the greatness of God. No problem. But to say, if you see me, you see the Father, but the Father is greater than him. So you definitely, if you but, see but the Father... You, it's not just, um, 
If you see the father, no, no, no. If you see the father, you see someone who is greater than Jesus. Yes? Am I right? He's greater than Jesus. Yes. Because he said, yeah. Jesus said, the yes. father is greater than I. Yes? I guess so. so if you see the father, you see someone who is greater than Jesus. Yes? I, I, I think, yeah, you, you find the highest form of uh, Trinity. Yeah. No, no, no. But, yeah. I mean, the father is greater than Jesus. I so if you so. see the father, yes. yeah, that to means... Go back, to go back, um, one is, second. Is, is, can we say, if we see the father, we see Jesus? Yes. 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 No, no, no. The reason why you can't is... His father has never been seen. The only, the only, there's only two parts of the. Either, that have been on earth. no, no. My, my point is, yeah. no. In the day of judgment, yeah. people will be seeing the father sitting yeah. on the throne. Yeah. On his right hand side, Jesus will be sitting. Okay, Jesus. Yeah. So. Yes. Yeah. 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 Are you okay? <laughs> that was good. Well, well. I cannot say the same about you, but may Allah guide you. <laughs> okay. All right, my brother. Salam alaikum. So we have here, when you see, you see here, that's the point. So when Jesus said, if you see me, you see the Father, it's not necessarily the one. That's, but no, that's done. After he said, if you see me, well, one, the reason why he said that, I think it was Pizza who asked them, who asked Jesus on his throne, when can we see the Father? Then Jesus replied to him, if you see me, you have seen the Father. Then he follows it by meaning, saying, meaning the purpose. But then he follows it by saying, I and the Father are one. In essence or purpose? I'm not sure if those are distinct things. I think. No, they are distinct because okay, if so you say, if you say, in essence, the father is greater than him. That's totally nonsense. So either they are in purpose, I agree with you. Fine. Yeah. So Vanilla? The, the reason why I think I struggle to, mm -hmm. um, to distinguish between the two is because, um, for example, I understand that, um, for example, my arm is as much a part of me as my heart, as my brain is. Yeah, but my brain probably commands my arm to make the motion that it does. Again, yeah. no, 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 don't give your example. Sorry to say, you yeah. are, you are something else. Yeah. Uh, so if I see, that's I cannot see your emotion. No, no. I cannot see your emotion. That's yeah. nonsense. Okay. The Father is greater than Jesus. Full stop. Yeah. So if you see Jesus, you see the Father in terms of purpose. Fine. But okay, if you're talking okay. about if you're talking about in essence, that's definitely nonsense because otherwise you will not say the Father is greater than I. And he said the only true God is the Father. You can you please define the two terms, essence and purpose. Essence means, means you know what means of essence of someone? Essence. Yeah, but essence tends to be intangible. The essence of God. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's why God has essence, yeah. has existence. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So, so definitely Jesus as essence is not the same as the Father as essence. So full stop. So seeing Jesus, definitely you're not seeing the Father, because Jesus is. So then why would you say it? He wanted, I will say, due to many factors. Yeah. The factor, the first factor, there is a problem in the translation throughout the time. Yeah. Because when they were translating, they were translating from Aramaic to Greek to Latin to English process. So there must be things happening there. Secondly, Gospel of John, there is, there is a big problem about Gospel of John. John was the last one to be written. John, no one knows who is John because some of them, they will say this John is the disciple. But actually, you will find the, the, the John who wrote the revelation is the disciple. But the one who wrote the Gospel of John is someone else. So this someone else, who is he? Adding to this, the beginning of the Gospel of John, it says this book is according to John. Is English your first language? Yeah. Uh, okay, when I say this book is according to, it doesn't mean the person who wrote it. It means according to his ideas, thoughts, whatever. But meaning, he himself didn't write it. And that's the meaning, that people would yeah, use, so. which means there's someone else wrote it. Who is this someone else who wrote it? No one knows. So that's why the one who, knows, who 
John is already vague. Similar logic to the same way the Quran was. Leave the Quran. We're not, we're not discussing. I will, I will we'll discuss yeah. the Quran. Huh? The Quran didn't have all of this nonsense. The Quran from day one, from the first revelation, yeah. used to be companions, memorized the Quran from the Prophet peace be upon him, and written in his presence. I'm saying, when, when, you, when you distinguish between this is the Quran and this is written by No, no, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's why we have. No, no, that's why we have. We are very sophisticated. When we say according to of Prophet Muhammad, it is not necessarily exactly his word. But when you say, Qala sallallahu, he said this, that means this is what he said. But when it comes to the Quran, this is the saying of Allah. It's not the description. It's not that they said, Allah says, this is how it is. So that's definite said by Allah, something which is definite. So this doesn't, it's not the same as the Christianity. Christianity is, yeah? Uh, Mansur, Mansur. Yeah? So my brother, brother, salam alaikum, my brother. How are you, right? Zakallah khair. What's your name, brother? Sean. Sean. This brother, Mansoor. Yeah. So uh, actually, he is he is a very lovely brother. I mean, he was there before. He was very patient and wanted to listen. So my 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 brother, Sean. If I prove to you Islam is the truth, will you follow Islam? Yeah. If I prove to you, not to me, Islam yeah, yeah, is the truth. Good. Yeah. Now me and you, we are in one page. There is problems in terms of in terms of preservation of the Bible, yes? So that's why when you are using text from the Bible, you cannot say for sure this is the word of Jesus, yes? Am I right? Especially the Gospel of John. Especially the Gospel of John compared to if, all if, other if, Gospels. If, if I was to accept what you revealed just now. I'm no, like, I'm yeah. saying, listen, I'm saying to you an academic thing. I didn't say something yeah, for myself. Since I'm not so when you I open the Bible, you will say this book is according to John. Simple. Yeah. We're done. So we have someone who wrote a, uh, that. Adding to this, they found some, even the Bible itself, the original Bible. There is no an intact copy of the Bible from the early stage. It was actually, they found some patches, hundred and something, 180, I think, after Jesus. That's the patches. But the compiled Bible, as the, as the four Gospels, it was 300, some, which means just before the Council of Nasir, which means there's 300 years gap about the text. Adding to this. Well, to make it an, an anthology, like to compile it, to put it in one sequence. Yes. Okay. Adding to this, Jesus, Jesus spoke Aramaic. If Jesus spoke Aramaic and he spoke Hebrew, where is the Aramaic Bible, the Gospel of Jesus? Where is it? Where is the wording of Jesus? So where because of this, because of this... Wait, wait, do you mean where are the original manuscripts? Yes. Yeah. I mean, the... where are the teachings of Christ transcribed, recorded and transmitted in the original language? Two points of things you One is about Christ was conversing with people and he used time, his most ordinary people, the peasants, the laity, the fishermen, like his disciples were like this. So he wouldn't speak to his people of his own kind. Yes, he exactly. Of his own he didn't go directly to go to yeah. the Gentile. Yeah. Yeah. He may have interactions with some of those other yeah. people, yeah. like the centurion, the yeah. German soldiers, sort of thing. But the mission he's focusing on is his community, his people. Yes. And you'll be speaking with their languages that it's possible. Hebrew. So it's, say a community of Jewish people, Hebrew. they will speak Hebrew because that's where their Torah is practiced and prophesied and comes in the fifth day. And the people look, you don't know how to read and write, you don't know the people, you don't know the people, you don't know the people. You don't know the yeah. Unfortunately, we don't have his teaching, which is called the gospel, the good news that he's teaching. Okay, so you mean where the original gospel? Because when you say what, you mean original teaching, the original gospel? His teaching that he preached okay. includes the gospel that he's preaching, because the gospel is the good news that he's preaching. Okay. When you're saying the and gospel, then, do you just mean what he said, or do you mean what we colloquially understand? We say, what he said, what he said. Because it's the word gospel, the gospel is not his own. Okay. The gospel is something given to him by God. Yes, yes, yes. So that knowledge, yes. wisdom, yes. guidance, yes. he explains, talks, teaches to his people, okay? In an old way. He doesn't write it himself. So this news, good news, yes. is something that is preaching to people. 
as well as his explaining, his own, his own explanations. So none of this is available in the original language. That's point number one. We don't have those teaching in the original languages because people did not compile them in those languages. Rather, at some point later, I'm not saying what, what, what later, but during his lifetime, that's for sure. Okay. After yes. his descendant, yes. yes. it were compiling, and the compilation that's transmitted to us is mostly in Greek. That's why we have the Greek gospels, letters of Paul, and so on. So there's already a level of lost in translation. Yes. Yeah? yes. So whatever he said, now it's going to be a with a pinch of salt if you take. Because you don't know what he said and what's been translated yes. in the translated versions later on. That's one layer of biblical theology. Secondly, he was teaching to the community and the community was writing about him for a long time and various people in their various abilities. It wasn't the only four Gospels that were written. Do you remember reading, do you read the Bible a little bit? Yes, I, I'm okay. aware of the canonical and the non-canonical. So you would know, you would know yeah. Luke, the Gospel of Luke, yes. starts with a very important point. He says, as for us, many people have undertaken. It seems good to me also to write an orderly account for the most excellent purpose. So he is telling us, people in posterity, there are various people writing about the teaching and the life of Christ. Yeah. Well, many people. So Luke wasn't inspired by God. He says, it's in good to me also, as a common sense thing to yeah. do, to write an orderly account. So what establishment we have made is this, there are various other writings. Yeah. We have now discovered many of those writings today. Yeah. We call them apocrypha. We call them, these are the corpus of the available text transmitted about him. The Gospel of Ebionites, the Gospel of the Nazarenes, the Nazarene. Gospel of the Egyptians, and, and the Nazarene, Nazarene and Ebionites. Actually, they were monotheists rather than believing Jesus to be God or part of God. They believe exactly what the Muslims believe, that Jesus, peace be upon him, was a prophet of God, giving Jesus the status that he is a prophet of God, opposing the Jewish narrative that he's a bastard, and as well talking about God is able to create a miraculous creation like Jesus with no father. So that's exactly what we believe as Muslims. Yes. Now, does it make sense to you now due to all of these factors tells you what is jesus he himself even according to the available gospel never claimed to be divine never claimed to be god he did claim to be divine where i and my father are one i we, we said in purpose or in essence the, thing, the only issue with that is that answer I'm, me in purpose or in essence as i've said that's why when, in, when in, you asked the question the first time i disclosed that i'm not i don't have a comfortable conception of what you mean okay you say, simple you know, as that yeah. when you say in essence yeah he said about the father the father is greater than i yes so we done it's not in essence i and the father are one in terms of the purpose meaning what i say what i legislate is exactly what god legislate then it makes sense that's the purpose he came also to guide the saying, people okay so if, if if i said in essence it means you i am saying that he does mean i am literally god i am divine yes okay, they are so together okay, yeah now i understand and then you're saying that can't be true because he says the father is this with him. Yes. And then so that dismisses. Yes, and not just that. And he said the only true God is the Father. That's part of his word. Do you see that? Yes. The only true God. Is yes. The so they will they will yeah, for example, here he said, so they will recognize talking to the Father, recognize you, you are the only true God and Jesus that the one whom you have sent. So they will recognize God as the only true God. And then they will recognize Jesus is the one whom, whom he has sent. So these are his words. So from this, we understand he's talking about God, the only true God. Talking about the Father, the only true God. Talking about himself, he was sent by God. So that shows definitely they are not one. Someone was sent by the other one. And the other one is the sender, which is the Father, is okay, the God. So when you say, so let's, let's, okay, let's go down the path of 
in public. So if he does say yes, I am the father one in public. So what I say is from God. Basically. Yes, exactly. Okay. And then um, uh, why would he say um, you have seen me, you have seen the father? Are you saying you get as much from me exactly. as you would if you saw the father directly? Because if you, if you understand the context of all this is happening. Yeah. So one of the things I think the Sheikh um, may have mentioned about this yeah. is when Jesus says, I am the Father are one, as in things given in those narratives that we read. This is not the only time he used that phrase. In the same gospel, a little bit later, a few chapters later, he's speaking to his disciples. Yes. He says, just as I am the Father are one. So he's reminding them. But what I said earlier, I am the Father of One. He says, just as I am the Father of One, I pray that you will all be one with us. I am in the Father, and the Father in me, and you in us. And you are with us. Yeah. So, now, this is totally given the meaning of what he said earlier. Because if I said, just as, just as I said earlier, now is this meaning, it's the same kind of likeness. So he said, just as I am the Father of One, you will also be one with us. If it meant one in essence and divinity, all the disciples, all the believers are one Divine. in God. Obviously, that no Christians believe in that. So we have to be consistent. So we have to say, when he says we are all in one with God, it's nothing to do with divinity. Yeah. It has nothing about saying, inheritance. This is in the English language. You know. Yeah. If you find it, yeah. Because well, what I find the elaboration is, is, is to mean particular in the inheritance. I would, I would really suggest yeah. go to, for example, a, 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 a teacher, professor of English language, and say, look, this is the clause that we have in the sentence. There's one statement someone is saying this, and another system is saying, just as I, so shall you be. Just as I am the father of one, you will also be one. That, that's, yeah, that's English. Yeah. Then it's the same one. For example, yeah. just to say, just uh, as I and you, uh -huh. for example, are one in this gathering or yeah. whatever in unity, so is him. But you no, understand? Meaning, meaning we, me and you, we're not necessarily we are one in essence. Yeah. Me and you, we have one, we are one team. So him, I'm adding him to our team. You understand? So we're talking about the purpose. So that's why if you see me, you see the father. Again, the same concept. Exactly, the same concept is exactly with the same concept. If you see me, you see what the father meaning. If you see, if you don't believe me, see the works I do of my father. Yes. Right. So what he's saying, look, the works I'm doing, I'm doing the works of my father. That's why when you see me, you see me the father's works that I'm doing. Yes. Because otherwise, you don't. Know, and what? But the, the, the main does issue, it make sense? That makes sense. Good. The main issue. So now we are now on one page. There's, a, there's one issue. Tell me. The one issue of why I say there is a distinction when he says, just as I, so will you be, is when he does elaborate, it says, so will you be in part the partaking of the inheritance. Yeah. They, they, they didn't say that. So that's that's, that's what it is. Uh, listen, it did, okay. listen. Let's read it. Are you continue, yeah. I'll bring it up. Yeah. He didn't say that. It says, just as me and the Father are one, I pray that you likewise. Meaning, talking about, talking about purpose. Him and the Father, they were doing certain things, and as well, they are for one purpose, which is to guide the people to the right path. He is praying that his disciple to bring the people to the garden. So he is praying for the same for the same reason. Then it would make sense, because if it's said in terms of essence, the Father is greater than him. The only true God is the Father. Look. They will all be one. Yeah. So that they one with each other, one with me, and one you. with God. So that they may believe that God has sent them. Yeah. So this God, 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 God,
but not one John with us. 17, 20, yeah. That's, that, that doesn't say one with us. My prayer is not for them alone. I pray also for those who believe in the living message, right? Yes. But they all may be one. Yes. Father, just you are in me and I am in you. May they also be in us so that the world may believe that you are sent. That's, there's no equivalence there. With he, he and, and wait, 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 wait. I have given them the glory that you gave me. That they may be one as we are. As we are one. So this oneness is the exact same one. Yes. So they actually made the distinction. They may be one as we are one. So it's not said as I. No, no, this but one. I don't think he said, he said, then you would have said, then we will all be one together. But he has said, they would be one. The one, church, one, 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 the church one. would be one, as me and the Father are one. What is this oneness between Father and Son? God? Being yeah, God? God. Then the disciples are also God. No, because the thing is saying, they may be one. Yeah, as, as Jesus came to establish the church before. Yeah, they may be one, as me and the Father. I in them, and you in me. So they may be brought to complete unity. It's not about between themselves, but between God and the Father as a whole unity. Isn't that So Jesus is including them in the unity. I am them. Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean, Sean, Sean. Sean. Let me tell you that. My, my point is to you. Meaning, I in them, they are in me, and me and the Father are one. All these things talking about the purpose. Because again, going to the main concept, Jesus and the Father are totally different things. That's one thing. How is it they are different? The Father is greater than him. Simple. Done. I don't so, think so. I don't think so. So he said... I think the Father can be greater than him, and they can also be one in the Godhead. Is the Son greater than the Father? Why not? This is because the Son already says that the Father is greater than the Son. So you do appreciate the Father is greater than him, and you cannot be God, or anything to be divine, if someone is greater than you. But their God is... Only being the their, greatest their being... The greatest being is God. There's yeah, no one greater than God. What I'm saying, that's why it's when, when we say the Father, we say the Father. And that's why when you say Jesus God, sometimes I hesitate and say Son of God, and then they're all, well, when you say Holy Spirit is God. Is Jesus a lesser God than the Father? They're all God. They're all God? They're lesser like, God than the But they're one, like they're, they I, are. I yeah. So is, I try to use. Is, is Jesus a lesser God than the Father? I'm expecting him. Okay. okay. So how do you have they have been equal, one is greater than the other? So, I tried to use this um, analogy uh, with my brother and my friend. Basically, then, like, I'll try with you and you tell me. Like, yeah, I said, in the same way I can do it in my brain, in my heart, in my heart. Yeah, but they are weak. But my brain tells my brain what to do, for example. I probably tell the command you just as I make. Yeah, or can command my heart. So you have a God in yeah. which there is a composition. Yes. One aspect of this God is greater than the other. Yes, the same as the Sean, Sean. So, so if the Father is God and yes. the Son is God, the Father yes. is a greater God than the Son. So, listen Sean. Okay. Let's apply, let's apply, let's apply the definition of God. How you define God? Mm. All-powerful, all yeah, all-knowing, all yeah. has independent will, yes? Yes. Meaning will decide without taking without self hierarchy. Self-sufficient or as independent. So let's apply on the father. Is the father all powerful? But that's why we, we don't say that. So what's, a, what's, a, what's, a, what's a, what's a, like try is No 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 no. Are, come come. Are, are good, good, good. My point is, is the father is the father all powerful? Is the father all powerful? Yeah, is the God Father all powerful? Yeah, I guess. But is I the Godfather? What I say, what I prefer, all uh, powerful, all knowing, all loving, is the God, God, the Trinity. So the Father alone is not all powerful. The Father alone is not God. You say. The thing is, I struggle. No, you say. No, no, no. no. Okay, I, let's, I just... let's just try to understand. Yeah. First of all, yeah. who can be God? Who can? Yeah. God is the only being who is the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yeah. Anyone who says God is not a Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is not God, right? So any being to be called God must necessarily be Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. All of them. All of them. If it's, if it's... No, 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 it does not have to be all. Okay, so now, so now we have more than one God now? No. If it's not, look, 
if, you, if the father can be God without the son, then the son is redundant. And the son will be second God. If the son is made to look like God. Yeah, I see. I see. So, so it's not going to be one God anymore. Yes. So that's why we apply, we apply this concept. When we say the father, God, the father is all powerful, you accept it's all powerful. Is he all knowing? Yes, you accept. He's all knowing. Is he self sufficient and has independent will? You'll say, yes, he is. Let's apply this on Jesus. Is Jesus all powerful? Answer is? He's not. Answer is? Yes, yeah. But what about He's all powerful? No, no, no. That's, that, like, that's so, why I'm saying I really struggle. Yeah, yeah, that's the struggle. They're one, they're one in God. Good. So the Father alone is not. One second. So the Father alone, one second. The Father alone is not God. Father. So. The thing is, they can't be separated from each other. Like, but they are I, separated. He said the Father is greater than the eye. He's in earth and the God is there. They can't be separated in their body, but they can be separated for the sake of acknowledging their acts. For example, the Son came to earth as a man and died for us. Can I ask you one question? By, him and yeah, yeah. by, by, oh, by his death. I want to ask you one question. Yeah, for example. Anyone who's dependent on someone else, yeah. and that dependent thing for being God, yeah. it's like they can collect it. As, as you are dependent and I'm dependent. What am I depending on? Water. What am I depending on? Air. Oxygen. So, if I am dependent, can I be in any way, shape, or form true God of the universe? If you are one point. No, no, no. no. If I am dependent, I cannot be God. Because that, part, no, look, what I'm trying to say no, no, what, what is you, I don't, I don't try, try, identify try to, a try to in my a part of the body. No, no, try to understand what, my point. Yeah. God is a being yes. who must be necessarily independent. Independent. Yeah. independent. independent. Yeah. So if I'm talking about you and I find you dependent, then I will say necessarily you're not God. Yes. yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Do you guys agree so far? Yeah. Good. Is the father independent or dependent on anything or anything? Something? The father. Of the three is the definitely the least dependent, but they're all semi semi autonomous. Like there's, there's delineation between Ask, the, the roles of the other. Answer the question. Yeah. Is the father in any way, shape, or form dependent on, on anyone just, or on anything? Just. On anyone or anything? He's not shown to himself. Good. Yeah, so he qualifies it to be God. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Is the son dependent on anyone or anything? Yes, God. Then he's not God. According to the definition, we agree. And the Holy Spirit, I guess. The Holy and the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, the same thing. That's why. That's why in John 17:3, yeah. Jesus Christ is saying, you, "This is eternal life that you may know that you, referring to the Father, yeah. you are the only." true God yeah. and Jesus Christ will be upset. So the is that true true God is the Father? One person, not three persons. But the Christians are very yeah. So, yeah. Um, okay, I Brother, I brother, I we're just filming. The only difference why I say I find myself is... Come one, close, brother, come close here. I do find myself um, acknowledging, as you have, that the Father is higher in seniority, that is acknowledged by Jesus in the Bible, within the Godhead. So, more higher in seniority to the Son and the Holy Spirit, yeah, as Jesus himself says, yeah, and the Father, as we have observed him to be, is entirely independent of both the Holy Spirit and Jesus, yeah. Jesus and the Holy Spirit, though, do have dependence on the Father, and that is where you say, because of that, they cannot be. Yes. Not just, uh, there yeah. are many other one things. Of the reasons yeah. why That's one of the reasons. Can I, can, can I continue from then say why I say the, Can I say that? You can, but understand one thing. Yeah. Any being that is identified to be dependent on anything, you have to, by your reason, logic, common sense, and intellect, you have to reject them to be God. Cannot be God. Because that's the definition you, your heart will accept. And, and by the way, Jesus is not just only dependent on the father, Jesus is dependent on his mother to clean him when he was young. He needed the mother to breastfeed him. He needed his mother to clean him. Yeah, when he's when he's doing toilet. He needed someone. He was dependent not just only on the on yeah. the father. He was dependent on the people around him, yeah. including his mother, yeah. which he needed to clean him every day. Dependency is a weakness. Efficiency is a weakness. Okay. Limitation is a weakness. Okay. So someone can expand you can expand, but what I'm yeah. saying, look, let's understand who God is. You know, yeah. once you understand the concept of true person of God, then you appreciate. God, to be truly God, will be someone free from all deficiencies, all imperfections. He will be perfect. And totally independent. Perfect. 
perfect a perfect being is not dependent. dependent. That's why I go back and say perfect unfortunately, which is what you might call it. Okay, good, good. I, I, I respect this. That but means, I, but I that, means that means, that means, that means the father is not qualified to be God until they unite with Jesus. If they are not with Jesus, it's not qualified to be God. I so you have a I'm unique... So, so you have... Okay, what are you trying to say? I haven't said the first thing. Okay. Yeah. So, so, because we established where we basically agree and said, basically where you say is, dependent can't be God. And I say, one, we, we agree, um, I guess we all agree, Father is highest in seniority in the Godhead. Um, we don't believe in Godhead. There is no Godhead. If, if, yeah, if there is no Godhead, there is no Godhead. Father, the Bible, the Bible, Father the is what the Jewish people knew as who God was. Yeah. So that's our understanding of this is Allah. Yeah. And then, uh, this Allah or God is ascribed a son so and, 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 I, and I described to you as well when I told you son as well David was described to be the firstborn son of God so that's why meaning son not necessarily is part of the triune God rather than to be serving God so that's the point which we are saying to you from the beginning meaning of the son is a servant of God came to serve God that's what he said let it be not my will but yours he was saying to the God is not my will I have no independent will, it is only your will. And here from that, we understand that Jesus, he was teaching the people, he was teaching the people that to rely on God, to ask God, to do what God is, what God is teaching them. And that tells you that Jesus is not God from all of this. And that's why, that's why I added the distinction of you, this, you brought, you brought, God and then I said, God, God, I am the Father, one if you see me, I see the Father, and then we had the discussion. And then what I am saying is, so you, um, okay, so I acknowledge the seniority of the Father. But I would say you do, but I do. Um, and then after, what do you mean by seniority? Again, what you are saying, seniority, you, 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 are bring, you are bringing a unique understanding to Christianity by saying, yeah. if they are together, they are God. If they are separated, they are not God. No, I'm, not, I'm, not trying, I'm not trying to say when they are separate, they are not God. But they're, I'm not saying the that's, that's, the This is what you're saying. I'm not trying to say that. But, what I'm trying does to, but, God speak to himself? God speaks to himself. Yeah. In God, there's yeah. a composition in which there's a father that yeah. speaks to the son, the son speaks to the father, and so on. So God speaks to himself. Because you believe in God. In, you don't believe there are three gods. You believe in one, one God. So one God is speaking to himself. Oh, I will come down. Oh, yeah, good. Uh, oh, wait, wait for me. Oh, oh why have we forsaken you? I didn't forsake you. Huh? I can ask Go ahead. Yeah, so. Yeah, but not in the modern conception of speaking to yourself where I just... No, but I was speaking, literally I was speaking. What way is God speaking huh? to himself? So, because obviously that, we're talking about um, in the Son and in the Holy Spirit, we have semi autonomous parts of the body. Yeah, so it's not... So... Is God speaking to himself? The answer is yes. God is definitely consulting within the body. When, when, no, 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 no. Um, when, There's when only Jesus one God. To, what's that, what's that, what's that? When Jesus comes to... There is one when he, God. When he goes to... No, no. Before the universe was created, let's talk about God at that point. Is yeah. he talking to himself? No. No. Is there a communication between the Father and the Son of Eternity from no beginning? I'd say God shows himself in the in the closest thing that we have here as an internal monologue. Yeah? It's inside That's your head as you, as you That's think. Not a it's a trialogue. Yeah? Three persons talking to each other. And I'm sure if we could distinguish all the... the That's not one God. That's not one God. So so one. By the way, by the way, no, no. God. He was saying, people heard him saying things to God. Yeah. Heard him. Yeah, it's my, not, my it's not a question. Yeah, uh, for example, like people that. heard him. Which means he was communicating, talking to who? God. Who is talking to who? God. One part So my hand, my hand, this hand talking to this hand. Is that is that how you think about it? Is within that how you yourself, see it? Within yourself, you consult yourself within an internal monologue. You, you negotiate one thing versus the other. You're not talking to yourself. One you second, have... one second. Are you telling your eyes don't see? Or I will tell my eyes... What? This nonsense. Again, you, you have one conscious. You don't talk to yourself. Talk when, to yourself. Have, what is when, we, when we have a personality disorder... What is an internal monologue? I'll explain to you. When you have a personality disorder, that's when psychological conditions... Yes. Is Which is schizophrenia. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Then that's when you... Yes, you talk to yourself. Yeah. But in God, what you're saying is... There are three centers of consciousness. They each talk to each other. The father knows it's not the son. And the yes. son knows it's not the father. Yes. That means these are independent centers of consciousness. Yes. Right. That's what? That's not one God, is it? That's not having a monologue. 
not like I'm saying that's why I said the closest thing we have are ourselves because we yes, don't you... have three yeah. different points of consciousness. We only have one. Yeah. The closest thing is yeah we having an internal monologue where we negotiate. Between we don't have an internal monologue. This, this, this unless, unless if you have shiz, uh, unless if you have schizophrenic problems. So when you're thinking, what when are you we're doing? thinking, yeah. we are making an assessment. If, listen, if you are in your mind, using your mind. In your mind, listen, listen, listen. One, 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 one. No, no, we don't talk to each other. If you have, yeah, if there are two people, yeah, listen. Yeah. If there are two people talking to each other in your mind, you need to see psychiatrists yeah, as soon as possible. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely saying, yeah. if there are two people in your mind talking to each other, you need to see psychiatrists ASAP. I'm saying yeah. No, okay. So if there is one which yeah. is meaning, I will say to, I encourage myself. I will do it. Basically, you do it. It's, it's your conscious. Talking to you, to, yeah. uh, you're, you're conscious. Yeah. You're not talking. There are no two, two, two things yes, talking to I each other. So that's why. Don't give this. This is this is called hocus pocus example. So don't bring this example to what we talk. We are talking about. We are talking about three different consciousnesses. Yeah. They are communicating with each other. These three different consciousnesses. They are not one. Neither in their essence, because Jesus said the Father is greater than I. We are done with this. So if something not greater me, than the other, okay. Can you please describe? Let's, my, that means either you have a problem in English language, or you don't want to use English. Language. What's the meaning of something greater than the other? Have, for example, example, have more there is a huge problem. More authority. Okay. No, he didn't. Say, he didn't. Say, he didn't say more authority. By the way. Okay. When he said the Father is greater than him, is the Father truly greater than Jesus? Truly. In essence, is he greater than Jesus in essence? I want to address... In essence, one, one second, one second. Yeah. In essence, is he greater than Jesus? Probably not. I not? But, but just, I okay, to, simple. Uh, let, let's, yeah. let's describe the essence of, God, of the Father and describe the essence of, of Jesus. Yeah. The Father is all-powerful. Jesus is not all-powerful. The Father is all-knowing. Especially, all especially, no, no, especially when you were no, there as a man. But yeah. this is your description. He didn't yeah. say this. The, he didn't say, um, the Father is greater than I as a man he didn't say this he said no. he said the father he said. He, he said the father is greater than i and we finished we're done yeah. so so the father in terms of essence is all powerful jesus is not all powerful yeah. the father is all knowing jesus is ignorant about certain things people came and asked him this question when is the hour he said no one knows about the hour but the father neither the son nor the angels the only one knows about the hour is the father yeah. so the son in all his aspects doesn't know about the hour you can't say in his human nature d d knows, and in his godly nature he no, knows. I, I, I'm not so, so the son, the son is ignorant. The father is all knowing because he said the only one knows about the is the father. So, in terms of essence, the father is greater than Jesus. Yes, essence, not purpose. Essence, the father is greater than Jesus. Based on what we said now. Yes. No, because the essence is their totality. Because at the end of the day, Jesus did do something the Father did. Even no, 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 that's nonsense. Uh, that's, that's, that's another thing. But no, let's but talk about... That's something you don't believe. You listen, don't believe listen, you, like, listen. Uh, we, we'll come, listen, listen, we'll come to the point... Listen, we'll come, we'll, listen, we'll come to the point of the crucifixion. But let's talk about the things earlier. Let's talk about now here. Is the Father, in terms of essence, greater than Jesus? Essence. I don't think so. You don't think so? So let's describe. Someone is all powerful, someone is weak, someone is all knowing, another one is ignorant, someone has no dependence on anything, and the other one is dependent. Are they equal? They can, they can be different in. I'm talking about essence. It doesn't matter what different yeah, is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They can is be... the Father is greater in terms of essence? Because otherwise, either Jesus lied when he said the Father is greater than I, he said the Father is greater than I in all aspects. You don't bring small thing and other thing. He said the father is greater than I. Finish, full stop. Why do you need to add other things? He said this. I mean, That's uh, his wording. I'm adding things that he said. You can't just take one thing that he said. What he said? Father. He, he said, like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? Like what? And yeah, so that's what I'm saying. You can't just take the father. Like what? What other things that we take? I, I mean, like he said, I can of myself do nothing. All I can do is when the father is. So we can build a period of place yeah. where Jesus is demonstrating yeah. total subjugation and surrendering and submission to God. But Jesus also did something that the Father has not done. 
Like what? Like, but that's, this is not uh, a death. It's not a description of God. Are you saying, a death is not a description of God. Are you saying God? Are you saying God death. can be mortal? Can be mortal and die? It's it is subject in terms of the laws of man. Yes. In fact, the Bible says the only it's being, the only being, God. can God do something? God. Doesn't what? The only immortal being is God. Sorry, the only immortal being. Yeah. God is not a mortal being. God is immortal. If God submits himself to the laws of man. He has to die. Yes. So God and can. Yeah. Submit himself to the laws of man. Can I yeah. Yeah. Can God become non God? No, which is, yeah, which is why it's become what? Non God. So you so you so you're saying so does it make sense God can be subject to becoming a non God? Can God while he's not going to why the deity of God is in heaven as a father in heaven? God who is all God is all knowledgeable. Yeah. Can this God become ignorant for thirty what does it mean all knowledge? Again, let's establish what we're doing. We'll just record it. All knowledge means you know the past. Sajjal, <laughs> Sajjal. You know the present, you know the future, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you already know, what's your name? What's your name? Sean. 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 If God already knows your name, Sean, yeah. can he then not know your name? No, because you know the word. Like, if God knows the past, present, and the future, how can he then suddenly not know the future? Because he only knows the future. Because. 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 Um, so because he forgets. That's it. Unless he forgets. Let's, let's see. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Um, basically, you're saying, can God forget? Can God once know no, no, something no. and then not? We don't yet? say God forget, we say just forget. While knowing it, because he's all knowledgeable of the past, present and future, uh, how is it possible to ascribe to God that he can be ignorant of the future? Well, when he came, he was still aware of the future. In the Bible, yeah. it tells you in various places yeah. of that day and of that hour. No one knows. What does it mean? Yeah, so... Wait, wait, wait. What does it mean? It means Jesus. In he doesn't talk about Jesus here. The first yeah, part, but Jesus said it. Wait, wait. The first part of the statement is this. No one knows. Of that day and hour, no, no one knows. What does that mean? No one. No, what does it mean? No one. What does it mean? No one. They, they know or they don't know? No, they don't. They don't know. Good. Not even the angels. Do they know? Do the angels know or they don't know? When it says, of that day, no one knows, not even the angels. Only the mother, yeah. So does the angels know? The angels don't know. Not even the sun. Does the sun know? The sun doesn't know. Who knows only? The father. So now you've identified the father is the only one who knows. And the sun doesn't know. How can the sun not know if he was unknowledgeable? Because Jesus is understood to be the word made flesh. Yeah. Whatever, doesn't matter. Yes, yes, yes. How yes. can you not know? I'm asking a question. Jesus is understood to be the word made flesh. If God has not uttered the day or the hour, yeah, so his word does not come forth as to the day or the hour, then that word made flesh will not include um, revelation. What's <laughs> this? The second member of the Trinity is Christ, right? Jesus. Guess, yeah, yeah. Jesus, according to what you're saying, is already God or knowledgeable. No, so, I didn't say that. I say I said in the in the Godhead. You know, you know, I will tell you something. You know what he said? He said something. He said when God said the word, it became flesh. At that time, he didn't legislate about the hour when the word came out of him. Yes? Is that what you're saying? I think so. Did the locust yeah. know or not? Which what was the one second? What the one second? What the one second? Let's hear it first. So Jesus has a beginning. This is the word of God made flesh. No, no, listen, you said just something, yeah. you know. You just contradict yourself. It's okay, by the way, to retract. It's fine. If you're wrong. Right. You said when when God said the word which came into flesh later on, at that time the description of the hour wasn't there. Which means when Jesus started or evolved or whatever you wanted to say it, as the word came from God and became flesh. It didn't have the knowledge of the hour. So that means there is a starting point for that word. Yes? That means Jesus has a beginning. Yes? Does God has a beginning? God in totality. So you just said the God, God has a beginning. You said in the beginning God was the word. God, God in the in the in the in the complete as a triune does not Again, have but you yeah. there is no triune. I'm saying to you. So since Jesus has a beginning, yeah. it's not God. 
Where did I say Jesus was in the beginning? I might, I might tell you. You said when the word came from God, yeah. at that time, God did not legislate about the hour, which means but at the, that point, uh, there is a point they, of time. They, they believe eternal begetting of. No, 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 he didn't say that. He said, he, might not he know didn't that. say. But, so that's but why. The Bible does say in the beginning was the word. So, yeah. so it has a beginning. The beginning does say, um, is it John 1 1? In the beginning was the word. So, so the word was there in the beginning. Why? Why? So, listen, Jesus why are you relying? Before I go, can I ask you one question? Uh, uh, I'll ask you yeah. If equally the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit have all the divine creatures, like power, knowledge, will, they, right? they don't. They don't. They don't. In so, isolation. In isolation, in isolation. isolation. No. What about the father? So you are saying the son does not have the same nature in knowledge like the other? I mean, he said it himself. He doesn't know the day, the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. So now you already yeah. believe in a God where there are, I don't want to use the word part, but aspects or persona of God in which yeah, yeah. So the what one I'm is greater than the other, Jesus one is more knowledgeable than the other. Uh, Jesus the Holy Spirit. So, Jesus, let, let Jesus me. Does this, you are what you are. What you are saying. Yeah. That's why you are confusing very yourself. Very using. That's fine. You know. No, no, you are, you're just. You by the way. I mean, you are just. I'm by, the by the way. By the way. By the way. I'm taking all the books. Listen. Come, Sean. Sean, Sean. Yes, yes, yes. Come, come. Yeah, with yeah, close. Yeah, come close. Yeah, come close. Come close, Sean. Sean. You see here, I yeah. wanted just to use with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I don't want, I'm not, you know, I don't want to use kind of a debating thing. Rather yeah. than, I wanted you just to understand a few things. Yes. You are using a source of information which is corrupt. The Bible. The Bible. The Bible. Yes. Over a period of time, mm -hmm. it is corrupt. Okay. Especially the Gospel of John, which you have used all these problems. Now, adding to this, the concept of even forgiveness mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. Now, God loves God, us, God, yes? Forgiveness of, of man. You no, us, us, uh, uh, yeah, God, God, God forgive us. us. Yes. Okay. Now, is either forgiveness and mercy or either for autonomy, yes? Okay. It can be both, yes? Okay. Okay. Now the question is, what Jesus was teaching people? The prayer of God. What you what are saying? Forgive our shortcomings just like we forgive others, yes? yes? Uh, so he didn't say to the people about him being crucified, him, you know, taking the sins. He didn't say these things. To the women who came to him asking him of the prayer, what they should do. Meaning, prayer, meaning God, meaning, this is the teaching of Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So Jesus is teaching people like this. Yeah. If you wronged me, you came, you wronged me. And I said, I forgive you. He said, come, you came to you, said, sorry. So I forgive you. This is how we forgive each other, yes? Now, and that's forgiveness. If I only receive autonomy from you, there's not forgiveness. You but call it I anything. If I don't accept your apology. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's not forgiveness. Yeah. So here, when Jesus is saying, forgive our sin just like we forgive others, yeah. is exactly this is what we call forgiveness. This is the mercy of God. Now, when it comes to have a full autonomy, when you say Jesus died for our sins, that means that no that's forgiveness. That means God will not receive anything until you cross, until you kill someone, until someone has to die. So meaning God needs this autonomy, this God needs, God needs this. Yeah. So God needs a sacrifice and I need the blood in order to, to forgive. Yeah. So there is no forgiveness. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You agree with us? There is no forgiveness if you need a sacrifice. No. Yes. That's not forgiveness. If they, if the autonomy, needs, yeah. autonomy doesn't mean doesn't mean forgiveness and mercy. So autonomy means full price. There needs a sacrifice between me and you. It doesn't matter. I think it does matter because it the doesn't matter. Wasn't like, you, you, you wronged me and you killed him. What's this related? Listen, you wronged me. Yeah. yeah? And I want to forgive you. I'll kill him. Yeah. In order for to forgive you. Yeah. What's this? This is not justice. Yeah. That's not justice, firstly. Because okay. you are the one who made the sin, not yeah. him. Yeah. Adding to this that if I only receive a full autonomy, that's not forgiveness. Yeah. I, that's not forgiveness if you, if, you, if you have to make a sacrifice for it to yes. forgive between two people. But the sacrifice wasn't for forgiveness between two people. The sacrifice was to reconcile men with God. Yeah, that's my point. Yeah. So if, if God wanted to sacrifice someone, that's not, that's not forgiveness. If you God only that's received, okay, okay. that's not forgiveness. Okay. So, if, so, but what Jesus was teaching, yeah. he was teaching people what? Oh God, oh the road prayer, forgive our shortcomings just like we forgive others. Yeah. The, this is the teaching of Jesus. Yeah. Who brought this autonomy thing? 
it's on, he said it's on, it's on Which is, yeah, the sacrifice. Yeah. Who, Who brought, brought it? it? Yeah. Jesus. How? Jesus brought it. No? Jesus, no, Jesus, he didn't want it. He should take this cup away from me. He was, he was against it. He was, he didn't want it. But he had, he had accepted it. He said it so he committed suicide. suicide. No, he didn't, no. Do you know wait, what means wait, suicide? Wait, wait. Like, okay, Do you know what means suicide? suicide? So but that's... He, but he accepted his fate to be crucified. Is, is suicide is a sin? He accepted his fate to be crucified. Is suicide is a sin? Yes, actively. No, not actively. Even if you know, if you go on that street, you're going to be killed. You're definitely going to be killed. You know it's a definite killing. If you go there, that's suicide. Regardless, if it was with your hand or someone's hand. That's, that's too far removed from your direct actions. No, actually, the, nowadays some people, they go to Switzerland, you know they call it the journey of death, yeah? They go to Switzerland in order to have the uh, mercy of death. Euthanasia, yeah. Yeah, euthanasia. So meaning, they will go there, and then that's in order suicide. for that, that's suicide. Yeah. Even though it's not with their hand, someone will do it to them. Yes. So they travel from here there. They consent and say, I have come here so that my life will be ended in a but, Yeah, way. That's, that's, that's what Jesus said. I consent. He said, let me mark my will, but you committed suicide. No, that's no, suicide. No, he was captured, he was prison. And then crucified. Be <laughs> no, he wanted this. No, Meaning, if someone, so if someone knew it's going to happen, that's suicide. So that's why if someone knew it's going to happen, definitely, that means that, that's suicide. So if he... No, if you, if by some revelation you were to find out the way in which your life would end, and then you fail to prevent it, or you just resign yourself and say, I will live out the rest of my days to the best of my ability, and then you do end up, your life ends that way, and you commit a suicide. No, that's not God. You're talking about someone who knows about a definite death that's going to come to you, and he goes there with his own feet to, to do that. That's suicide. It's called suicide. He didn't, he didn't go there with his own feet. No, no, he, no, he went there. No, he went there. Because the issue is him coming on earth as a sacrifice. He's the lamb. Yeah. So he came to, to, to die. He came in a suicidal mission. He came to, to kill himself. Yeah, yeah. But that's how it Because he came for this. So that's suicide. So that's why it makes sense, way more sense, that to say Jesus was a prophet of God, it makes more sense that when Jesus submit to God, God accepted his submission. When Jesus asked God, begged God to save him, from that God saved him. And I will tell you one story, which is, there is a man whose name is, I think, uh, uh, Iglesias of, of Antioch. He was a respected figure, 100 and something. And actually he was taken to Constantinople and he was fed to the lions and he was, he, he was, he was killed in a, in a horrible way. But this man, he, he, actually accepted during his time that there used to be Christian, devoted Christian, who did not accept the crucifixion of Jesus. So he actually recognized some Christian, even though he didn't believe this, but yet he was writing to them, saying to them, some Christian, writing to them, some Christian believes that Jesus wasn't crucified, and he described him as a Christian. He didn't describe him as someone who's committing heresies. He described him as a Christian. Meaning they used to be Christian in the first hundred years after Jesus, when he was ascended to the heavens. In the first hundred years, they used to be Christians who did not believe Jesus was crucified. Now the question is, who brought all of this idea, the autonomy, the crucifixion, and all of these things? It was actually imposed to the Christianity. It wasn't the teachings of Jesus. Jesus was saying to the people, seek forgiveness and then God will forgive. Uh, some people were devoted Christians, they didn't believe in the crucifixion of Jesus. And actually, and then adding to this, we have all these problems in the Bible. We have all these problems in the New, in the, in the New Testament, especially in the Gospel of John, where it has all of these problems. Adding to this, the problem in the language, the problem in translation, the problem in the preservation, all of these things. Why didn't you come to the truth? And I, what we said, agreed to you in the beginning, if Islam makes sense, that's what, that was, that was yeah. our agreement. And actually in Islam, we recognize Jesus, peace be upon him, to be a prophet sent by God. We, we, we believe in him. Yeah. No one can be a Muslim until you believe in Jesus to be sent by God. Yeah. That's something which... Now, this Quran that you have, which, yeah. you, which we yeah, were given. So, yeah. yeah, basically. Um, this Quran, yeah, yeah. either it was inspired by the devil, to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Or he made it himself, he made up this. Or it was revealed by God. Do you have any other option? So 
So either it was the devil, my God, or... Or Muhammad, this is what? Probably not. Huh? Probably not. You don't have. Yeah. So, I will tell you a few points about it. Firstly, the Quran directing us to worship the Creator. Yeah. The heavens of the, yeah. the heavens of the yeah. It directing us to do that. It directs us to respect the prophets and messengers of God. Noah, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, peace be upon all of them. It tells us to believe in the miraculous birth of Jesus. It gives us, it inspires us about the character of Mary, peace be upon her, that she was a great example of woman. She was a devoted woman to God, and she was Mary. Mary yeah. And we have a whole chapter in the Quran talking about Mary. We have a zero in the Quran talking about the mother of Muhammad. Yeah? So all these things tells you what? In this Quran, either it was work of devil, or the Muhammad, we say he did it, or it was inspired by God. Let's talk about the first one. If it was inspired by the devil, you'll find in the Quran, in many places in the Quran, God talking about cursing the devil again and again, curse the devil, yeah? And even when we read the Quran, we say, we say, A'udhu Billahi Min Shaitanajim, meaning we seek refuge and protection from God, from the outcast devil, from the whispers of the devil. If it was the work of the devil, do you think the devil will be cursed in the book that he inspires? And no, so it's not the devil. Let's say if it was the work of Muhammad, it was him. If Muhammad wanted to have the whole... I just want to say, I need to, I just realized I need to go Yeah, okay. If it was the work of Muhammad, peace be upon him, he will talk about himself most of the Quran. He will talk about his mother, rather than the mother of Jesus, for example. And as well, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he was criticized by Allah in the Quran numerous times. Allah said, غفر الله لك لما يدنت له. May Allah forgive you. Why did you permit them? Allah says, عبس وتولى أنجاه الأعمى. There's another chapter of the Quran that one day he was talking to the leaders of, of Quraysh and he got angry. He was so angry. And when the leaders left, those elite people from Quraysh, a blind man came and he was a believer. He came to ask him some question. The Prophet, peace be upon him, he answered him. But he had a grumpy face because he was angry about what happened. Not on him, on the other ones. So Allah has criticized him on this. Why did he show the angry face to the blind man who came to ask about remembrance of Allah? The blind man didn't see, only Allah saw yeah, that he was, and Allah Azza wa Jal has criticized his Prophet, peace be upon him, about that. Now, if it was the work of Muhammad, will he do this about himself in the Quran? And bear in mind that the Quran is recited by two billion human beings on earth, and we recite it loudly, five times a day, or three times loudly a day, and five times to be recited at least, let alone others. So we have this book recited by all these numbers of people. And in this, we repeated the word of God when God has criticized Muhammad peace be upon him. And we sing it actually, not just one that. Do you think it's the work of Muhammad? So that means it's from who? You're saying basically going back to the thing, either has to be the devil or God. Oh God. So if it's the word of God, which is intact, preserved since the time of Muhammad peace be upon him until now, memorized now by 15 million, million Muslims on earth, meaning if you bring the whole copies of the Quran and burn them, on the same night we're going to produce another Quran. No, no problem. Does this apply to the Bible? Because Allah told us in the Quran, firstly, if it came from other than Allah, you will find a lot of dispute about it. Just like the Bible, there is a lot of dispute. This in the Bible, this in Surgeon, this Catholic Bible, this Protestant Bible. So they will find a lot of dispute. And as well, Allah said, we have sent out this revelation and we'll be, we will be preserving it. So the Quran is preserved for the last, 50, uh, for the last 1400 years ago. So here it tells you something, my brother Sean. Didn't you think that Islam is the true faith? sent by God to us. I'll After always, we said. I'll always have to say no, but also thank you so much for the... No, you, I need yeah, your answer. No. We said it makes sense. At the moment, I have to say no, I don't think it is. But I have taken the Quran and I've taken the other text. So, yeah. I'll, I'll just... But you said it should be from God, yes? At least, that's the last word, yeah? I said it definitely has to be from God or from the devil. But if it's from the devil, it can't be. We said to you earlier, we said no earlier. Because of the, the devil. devil will not cuss itself. Yes. Out. Yeah, true. Yeah. Uh, In every single time. To worship God. Of 
Yes, I'm just, I'm just very cautious of entering into another competition because I need to come. That's the only issue. So yeah. I'll come again. I'll come earlier in the day. But right now, I just have to go. That's all. Okay. Yeah. So are you able to come back next week? Next Sunday? Yeah? 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 Sure. sure. Read, and I want you to open your mind and heart yeah. and come back next week. Let's discuss this back again. Yeah? yeah? Okay. Uh, we will look forward, inshallah. Please, yeah. brother, yeah. bring him back next week, inshallah. Yeah. All right, brother. Thank you. So, okay, inshallah. All right, brother. You got my number, yeah? Yeah. Just text me, inshallah. I want to add you to the group of the brothers, yes? Where are you from, brother? Uh, as in my family? Yeah. India. India. Mashallah. You're rebirth yourself, yeah? May Allah bless you, my brother. Okay? Okay, Sean? Yeah? yeah? Thank you, so much. you have some homework to do? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my brother. All right, my brother. Salam alaikum. All right, my brother. Salam alaikum. All right, Sean. Take care of yourself. Okay, Alhamdulillah, we had a fruitful conversation. Alhamdulillah, it was good. Inshallah, I ask Allah Azza wa that Allah to open his heart and mind to the truth. Wa jazakum Allah wa khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.